Hello, good day everyone. Once again, this is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools, particularly in Microsoft Word. In this video presentation, I will demonstrate to you how to format inserted pictures or other objects into your document. So first, let me insert to you, let me demonstrate to you, I should say, in how to insert a picture. Let me select from my own list of pictures. I will select, for example, my own picture. Okay. Now, once you have selected a picture and that picture is active, take note that the format tab is activated. If there is no selected picture, there is no format tab in our ribbon. Again, I'll click on this. The format tab appears. Along with the format tab, you have the adjust group, picture styles, arrange, and size. Let me demonstrate to you first the use of size group. You know for a fact that you can resize your picture by just clicking and dragging these pictures but aside from that, if you want to have a, a precise or exact measurement, say for example of the height, then simply type it here. I'll click for example, I'll type for example 4, and then automatically the picture will be resized together with its width. And under size, we also have crop. Crop means you can uh, remove a portion or some portions or areas of the picture that you have inserted. So let me click on crop to demonstrate it. You can either use this one or this one or any of those black uh, symbols that you see on the border of the picture. So let me use this one. Perhaps I, I will also remove some portion on the, this. So, we now have the picture that has been resized and cropped. Now, to continue, let me demonstrate to you the use of some of the commands under the adjust group. First, the corrections. The corrections will allow you to change the brightness and contrast of the picture that you have inserted so let us try to have some say for example i'll select on this brightness is zero or normal contrast is 20 percent you can also change the color say for example you change the color into grayscale Now let me return it to the normal one or you can also set an artistic effect let me see if we there are artistic effects functioning take note it's reading so let's just wait for the effect to Okay, let me choose this one. Okay. Now, if you cannot see the exact effect, you can have the effect options. The right on the right portion is the format picture options. Say, for example, I will increase the grid size into 10. Okay, so you notice that the picture has the artistic effect. 
So, that's for the artistic effect. Let me just uh, bring it to the normal uh, picture. So, you can also have the, the picture style. Select from the picture styles available here. Say, for example, I will choose this one. Now, notice that there is a picture border. You can change the picture border by clicking on this. Say, for example, changing the color into blue, changing the weight into one and a half, or changing even the layout. Now, now to demonstrate this uh, position wrap text, let me insert another picture. So insert picture, then I'll select, for example, Arvin, my name. So again, you can resize. Say, for example, I will resize this one into 0.5 as its height. Originally, pictures inserted or other objects inserted follows the layout or wrap text in line with text. Or the position is in line with text. Now, if pictures use the in line with text, you cannot put pictures over another picture. So the first thing that you should do is to change that one Say, for example, wrap text using the in front of text. Once you choose in front of text, you can move the picture anywhere in the document. If you have, let me try again this one, in wrap text into in front of text. So I, I was able to move it here. What if... I would like my picture, this one, to be in front of another picture, like for example this one. I'll click on this, bring to front. Okay, If you want to, to bring this one backward, you click on the send backward, send to back. Okay, so that's how to rearrange the order of the pictures that you have inserted. Now, by the way, if you notice, the name Arvin has a white background. Can I remove this in Microsoft Word? Yes, that is going to the color and set transparent color. Click on the white background. Now you... The white background on my name, Arvin, has been removed. The last portion of my demonstration is how to group the pictures inserted. So I'll click on one picture, hold down my shift key, and then click the next picture. And then go to group, click group command. The two pictures that I have here will now become, become one because it has been grouped. So let me continue. This time I will demonstrate to you how to insert some shapes. Okay, let me just uh, format this one using the inline with text. And I'll go to I'll press enter key to go to the next line. Insert shapes. Okay. So there are different shapes available here. So say for example, I would like to insert uh, shape from the call outs. So here I have a call out. 
and I can move this one say for example there as if I am the one talking do you remember or have you seen comics this is uh, usually seen in comics how do I put text into this right click edit text then you can start typing hi my name is Arvin how are you okay you can format the text by using the format uh, commands here or you can go to home tab and do the same formatting like for example changing the color okay. going back to format you can change the either the sh style of the shape or the style of the word art or the text that you have uh, type in the inside the shape for example I will change the style of shape I can change the fill color I can have some effects okay. when you don't like a normal font you can use the words word art styles for example this one okay, I can increase the font size so that's how to uh, change the or put text into the shape uh, let us have another demonstration of the shape insert shape okay for example I will choose banner okay so you have this banner take note this yellow symbol that you see here allow you to adjust the shape Then to put text, right click, edit text. Say for example, inserting pictures and shapes. I will format the text inside it. I will increase the font size. If you don't like that the normal font you can use the word style again so that's how to insert a shape and typing text inside the shape that you have inserted okay this time I will demonstrate to you how to lay out your document with the pictures that you inserted for example I would like this picture to be placed on the right side of this text or paragraph so the first thing that I will do is to select the picture go to format tab and then select the wrap text square notice that the text is being adjusted and aligned to the uh, picture so I will just move this picture here now you have the text wrap along with the picture that you have inserted let me demonstrate again insert uh, I'll, se I'll select this picture wrap text square for example I would like this to be placed on the left portion and take note as you resize the text will automatically adjust okay 
another demonstration of rough text say for example tight or true yeah, actually this is almost the same tight I will put it at the center and lastly format wrap text a while ago I demonstrated to, to you how to use the in front of text this time I will use behind text if the wrap text format of an object a picture or a shape is behind text that picture will be behind the text that you have in your document so that's all i hope you learned something new from this video presentation god bless everyone